But you guys, if you're looking to increase the storage capacity in your computer, maybe you want to make a free NAS server or you want to make a media server or you want to make a backup machine which you can back up all your data to. This little unit here called Tough Armor is a pretty good option. You can see it's got six drive bays here which allow you to put two and a half inch uh, solid state drives or mechanical drives in there. And also it's got a, a drive space there for a nine millimeter a blu-ray drive or even a, just a dvd rom drive inside there as well this is what it comes like and you get it inside the box here pretty nice little uh, unit here full metal construction so let's get it out the box and take a closer look now this is what you can expect to get you can see it's a full metal construction do have all the screws which are for your drives so it can take up to six drives inside here and these drives can be ssd or mechanical drives now you can get up to five terabyte 2.5 inch mechanical drives or you can get solid state drives which are getting bigger and bigger as we speak they will fit inside these six little bays here which are hot swappable and also you've got this dvd rom uh, drive here which you can put a blu-ray inside here this has to be nine millimeters in size you can get these on amazon and it will slot straight in here this will make a great media server and you can populate all these with your drives and have all your music and movies on there. Very nice little feature. Even if you wanted to make this a backup uh, server, you could also do that as well. On the back of the unit, we do have that 40 millimeter fan, which does uh, have a speed control on it. Also high, low and off. You've got your SATA ports here for your SATA data cables. You've got six of those and your power ports there as well. And the one to power the device up the top here. They do support SATA 3.0 GPPS and also SAS 3.0 12 GPPS as well on a single channel. So pretty decent anti-vibration technology is built into this device, but which also reduces vibration from mechanical hard drives if you wanted to use mechanical drives. Now just pop the little button here and out slides the tray. Very simple and easy to mount your hard drive or your SSD into these here with the uh, screws that come in the kit as well. This is all metal construction as well. Very nice uh, build quality on this unit. All you need to do is just mount a drive here. I'm going to put some SSD inside these uh, units here. We've got these PMY 960 gigabyte, 535 uh, read speeds and 515 write speeds on these drives. Really nice quality drives, these three year warranty on these. And uh, if you wanted to use six of these, you could do, and you'd have nearly six terabytes of storage in this little device. Uh, if you wanted to mix it up with some hard drives, you could do, you can have up to five terabyte hard drives. You can also buy bigger uh, drives as well for solid state, if that is what you wanted to do. Just put the drive on and use the four screws to screw down uh, the drive and uh, basically slot them into the unit. It's that simple. And then you can slot this into your 5.25 inch drive bay on your case. So just push them in like so and then clip the little locking mechanism down just like you would do on a NAS. Very simple and easy to do. Now you could buy a cool little mini ITX case just like this and turn it into a media server, a NAS with free NAS, or you could turn it into, uh, you know, some sort of backup system where you can back up to this. You don't even have to have Blu-ray uh, drives in these. You can just buy the devices without this drive bay inside here, and it will just have all the storage. So you can do ones with storage in them. But six drives you can have up to in one little 5.25 inch uh, bay drive here. Very, very useful. I do like it, and it's going to be very useful uh, for someone who wants to create something like that. Uh, with plenty of storage involved and some of those nas units can cost quite a bit of money so you could buy a small mini itx case like i showed you buy yourself a cheap itx board with a cheap processor and some ram and then buy one of these devices and you've got yourself literally a backup device or a free nas which you can download for free and turn your uh, little mini pc into a nas server very cheap and easy to do and uh, if you're interested in something like that let me know in the comment section below you can see the LED lights on the drives to show you that drive is populated and working. And that is it, really. That is basically about it for this sort of unit. Very, very useful. 
uh, little device. They do many different models and I'll leave all the information in the video description. Big special thanks to all my YouTube members. Thanks for joining. I really do appreciate it. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Have a great weekend. Bye for now. <laughs>